So we've talked about simplifying ratios a little bit, how they should always be simplified. You want to take out any common factors that they have and reduce the, the ratio as much as possible. The other thing that we didn't talk about is that ratios should not have units once they're simplified. It's just a comparison between two numbers. Now, sometimes we'll put units with them because, you know, like when we're looking at the bagels one, they have to have meaning to them. But as we just write a pure ratio, it's just two, two numbers there. So let's take a look at this first one here. We have seven feet over 14 inches. The first thing that we want to do is um, let's go ahead and, and reduce this first, just a number portion. So 7 and 14 can reduce to 1 half. So I have 1 foot over 2 inches. So now my problem is, is I have two different units, and I want to get rid of these units here. So here's the thing. If I know that, I know that um, 12 inches is equal to 1 foot. Okay, so that's a that's a true statement there. Um, but one thing that I can do with this is I can write what are called uh, conversion factors, or they're just basically, you know, ratios. Now watch what I do. If I had to divide this one side by one foot, what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So I divide this side by one foot. So as I rewrite this here, I have 12 inches over one foot is equal to one foot divided by one foot is one. So you realize that when we multiply anything, any number by one, it doesn't change its value. Okay. It doesn't change the value. All that it does is it changes the units that it is in. For instance, if I have, let's say that I have two feet. Okay. Now, if I multiply this two feet, that's like two over one. If I multiply this by this unit conversion factor of 12 inches over one foot, I want you to notice what happens here is my feet cancel out because I can cross cancel and my units now is in inches and I get 24 inches. Now, I want you to stop and think about something. I started out with two feet. Does two feet equal 24 inches? Yeah. Does two equal 24? The answer to that is no. The length does not change that I'm measuring, but the units that I measure it in changes. So if I have, you know, this board here that's two feet long, that is either two feet or 24 inches. It's the same length. It's just the units that are changing there. So what we're doing right here with this one is we're multiplying. We're going to take and we're going to multiply it by 12 inches over one foot. That's that unit conversion factor. When I do this, what happens is my feet cancel out. My inches cancel out. Now I get 12 over 2. I get a factor or I get a ratio that has no units. And all I need to do from there is just to simplify it, which would be 6 over 1. So that is a simplified ratio for 7 feet over 14 inches. Now, here's the other thing about it, that if you forget, what if, what if we just started with this and I said 7 feet over 14 inches and I didn't reduce that first, but I just went ahead and I multiplied it by 12 inches over one foot. If I did this, what would happen is that my feet would cancel out, my inches cancel out. So that's good. Then I have 7 times 12, and 7 times 12 is 84. 14 times 1 is 14. So I have this ratio, 84 over 14. Now I have to reduce it. And 14 goes into 84 six times. So that reduces to six over one. So you can see both ways, starting out by reducing my fraction first or by changing my unit multipliers first, I get the same answer. For me, I like doing the first way first because I work with smaller numbers. So let's take a look at B. When it's written with a colon, when the ratio is written with a colon between the two, it can be a little bit harder when I have two differing um, units there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to write it as a fraction, 9 meters over 900 centimeters. 
And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce this. So 9 over 900, 9 goes into 9 one time, so I have 1 meter, and 9 goes into 900 100 times, so I would have 100 centimeters. Now I have to do my unit multiplier, and this is where you kind of have to know your unit, your uh, conversion factors a little bit there. I have, I know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So re remember, I can divide this one of two ways. I can divide this side by 100 centimeters and this side by 100 centimeters. When I do this, I get one meter over 100 centimeters is equal to one. So that would be one uh, conversion factor. Or if I said one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, I could start on this side and say divide by one meter and divide by one meter. So I would have one is equal to 100 centimeters over one meter. Now, if you look here from this one, oops, let me get another one here that shows up from this one original ratio of one meter to 100 centimeters, I get two conversion factors, one meter over 100 centimeters or 100 centimeters over one meter. So what happens here is I can use either of these depending on which one I, I need. So do I use a or B on this? Well, I take a look at it. I want to cancel out my units. That means to cancel out my meters, my meters will have to be on the bottom and my centimeters will have to be on the top. So that's going to be 100 centimeters over one meter. Now, just as something to tell you guys, you might, guys may look at this and go, you know what? I'm never going to do this again. Um, this is a stupid way of doing it. I'm going to do it a different way. I would say, don't do that because when you get into chemistry, you're going to go through a, a, a operations called stoichiometry. It's where everyone gets hung up. And this is exactly how you do that. If you understand what you're doing here, stoichiometry will be much, much easier for you. Okay. So anyways, so when we take a look at this here, my meters cancel out, my centimeters cancel out. And if you look, I have 100 and 100. I can cross cancel that to be one and one. And I'm just left with the ratio of one over one. Okay, so that's my simplified ratio. Remember, simplified ratios have no units. So C is a little bit easier because I have the same units. I can just, the um, gallon divided by a gallon is just one. And four over 16 can reduce to one over four. So my simplified um, ratio there is just one over four.